Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. Apprenez le français avec Vincent. And this is Unité 17, Leçon L. And in this lesson, we'll see together le passé simple. So this video will be divided in two parts. The first one will be covering l'utilisation, so when do we use Uh, le passé simple and the second one will cover la formation so how do we construct this passé simple tense so we can start right now with l'utilisation okay and well the main thing when we think about le passé simple well the first thing it's a tense uh, from the past and then utiliser à l'écrit. So, in most of the cases, you will see or you will encounter this passé simple form uh, at, the written, at the written form. Okay, so dans la littérature, dans les récits historiques, dans les contes, dans les journaux. Okay, so in most of the cases, we will see this passé simple forms in literature, dans la, dans la littérature, historical stories, les récits historiques, fairy tales, les contes, and then newspapers, les journaux. Okay, and then keep in mind that it, it is quite rare à l'oral, assez rare à l'oral. So, dans le passé, in the past, of course, and you will express with le passé simple, une action, un fait, un événement. Okay, so it will be used in the past to express une action, an action, un fait, a fact, and then un événement, an event. Keep in mind that you don't have any connection with um, well, the time when you say or when you tell this thing at the past. Okay, so pas de connexion avec le moment de l'énonciation. And the last thing is that normally the person who will express this uh, passé simple form will be somehow uh, exterior to the story. So, la personne est extérieure au récit. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you want to express in the past une action, un fait, or then un événement, okay, don't have any connection with the time when the person is telling this past form, okay, and then the person who is actually telling this past form is somehow exterior to the story, okay, so this is now how we will construct la formation du passé simple, and you will see that it's a bit tricky, so I've been making some groups and then subgroups, but then Uh, here are the groups. So the first one is, well, the first group of regular verbs in French, you know, ending with a R, okay? And for this group, well, the endings will be for je, a, i, and then for tu, a, s, il, elle, a, nous, a, accent circonflexe, M, E, S. Vous. A, accent circonflexe, T, E, S. Il, elle, at the plural form. E, accent grave, R, E, N, T. Okay, so you've got here your endings for the first group of verbs, so the regular verbs. A, I, A, S, A. A, accent circonflexe, M, E, S. A, accent circonflexe, T, E, S. E, accent grave, R, E, N, T. Okay? And let's see now the endings for the group, the second, sorry, the verbs of the second group and the regular verbs in I, R. Okay, so you will have for je, I, S, and then for tu, I, S, for il, elle, I, T, for nous, I, accent circonflexe, M, E, S, vous, I, accent circonflexe, T, E, S, and then il, elle, at the plural form, I, R, E, N, T. Okay, so we get these. There are the endings for the verb, the regular verbs from the second group, I, R. Okay, so I, S, I, S, I, T, I, M, E, S, 
I-T-E-S, I-R-E-N-T. Okay, don't forget the circumflex here and here. So let's continue now. And we'll discover now, so it's a bit more tricky. Um, so we're not talking about uh, groups and subgroups, but we'll talk about uh, the verbs that will have their participe passé, so past participles, in I en I. Okay, so remember, we're not talking about all the verbs in IR, for instance. And then je, so it will end with ES. Tu, it will end with ES. Il, elle, it will end with IT. Nous, I, accent circonflex MES. Vous, I, accent circonflex TES. Il, elle, I, R, E, N, T. So, of course, you can tell me that, well, these endings are exactly the same as we saw previously. And yes, of course, uh, because, well, all the regular verbs from the second group in IR do have their participe passé in I, like that, okay? But in this case, we're mostly talking about, and we'll see a few examples, uh, about the verbs from the second group that do have their, their uh, participe passé in I. Okay, so let's continue now with these groups. So we're talking about the verbs ending with O, E, R, but then of course, as usual, I'm honest with you, <laughs> and we're not talking about all the verbs, but most of them, okay? And the endings will go like je, US, tu, US, il, elle, UT, okay? Nous, U accent circonflex MES, vous, U accent circonflex TES, il, elle, U, R, E, N, T. Okay, so keep in mind these endings, so US, US, UT, U accent circonflex MES, U accent circonflex TES, U, R, E, N, T. And we're talking about the verbs ending with O, E, R, but remember, not all the verbs. Let's see now another category, O, I, R, E, and then as usual, remember, we're not talking about all the verbs, but most of them. And the endings will go like, je, U, S, tu, U, S, and then il, elle, U, T, okay. Nous, U, accent circonflex, M, E, S, vous, U, accent circonflex, T, E, S, il, elle, U, R, E, N, T. Okay, so remember, verbs ending with O, I, R, E, but not all the verbs. U, S, U, S, U, T. U, accent circonflex, M, E, S. U, accent circonflex, T, E, S. U, R, E, N, T. Okay, then we will continue with the verbs that do have their participe passé en U. Okay, remember, not all the verbs, of course, but most of them. And the endings will be je, US, tu, US, il, elle, UT, nous, U accent circonflex MES, vous, U accent circonflex TES, il, elle, U, R, E, N, T. OK? And then verbs like tenir and venir, they are a bit tricky, so. Be careful, we're talking about these two verbs, but then, of course, all the composed verbs based on tenir and venir, okay? So, let's see now. And then, je, ins, tu, ins, il, elle, int, nous, inmes, vous, intes, Il, elle, I, N, R, E, N, T. Okay? So, we'll now see a few examples. Quelques exemples. And now I will focus on the pronunciation. Okay? So, let's start with the first group. So, les verbes en E, R, and then the example is parler. Okay? Je parlais. Tu parlas. Il parla. Elle parla. Nous parlâmes, vous parlâtes, ils parlèrent, elles parlèrent. Ok, so one more time. Je parlais, tu parlas, il parla, elle parla, nous parlâmes, 
Vous parlâtes, ils parlèrent, elles parlèrent. And now, the second group of verbs ending with ER, so the regular one, and I've been choosing this finir, to finish, or to end, example. Je finis, tu finis, il finit, elle finit, nous finîmes, vous finites, ils finirent, elles finirent. Okay, so one more time. Je finis, tu finis, il finit, elle finit, nous finîmes, vous finites, ils finirent, elles finirent. And now let's see all the verbs that will have their participe passé en i. Remember it was not all the verbs, so I've been choosing this suivre verb to follow. Je suivis, tu suivis. Il suivit, elle suivit. Nous suivîmes, vous suivîtes. Ils suivirent, elles suivirent. Ok, so one more time. Je suivis, tu suivis. Il suivit, elle suivit. Nous suivîmes, vous suivîtes. Ils suivirent, elles suivirent. And now, let's see a few verbs. So, like, attendre. So it's to wait, dire, to say, entendre, to hear, faire, to do, mettre, uh, to put, sorry, and then voir, to see. J'attendis, tu dis, il entendit, elle entendit, nous fîmes, vous mites, ils virent, elles virent. Okay, so, j'attendis, tu dis, il entendit, elle entendit, nous fîmes, vous mites, ils virent, elles virent. Alright, so, let's continue now with this. Group, remember, verbs ending with O, E, R, but we said that it was not all the verbs, so I've been choosing this recevoir example to receive recevoir and it goes like that je reçus tu reçus il reçut elle reçut nous reçûmes vous reçûtes ils reçurent elles reçurent okay so one more time je reçus tu reçus il reçut elle reçut nous reçûmes vous reçûtes ils reçurent elles reçurent And now the verbs ending with O, E, R, E. And remember, I said that we're not talking about all the verbs, but most of them. And for this example, I've been taking boire. Boire is to drink. Je bu. Tu bu. Il bu. Elle bu. Nous bûmes. Vous butes. Il bure. Elle bure. Okay, so one more time. Je bu. Tu bu. Il but, elle but, nous bûmes, vous butes, il bure, elle bure. And now the verbs that will have their participe passé en U. So I've been choosing this lire verb, so lire is to read. Je lus, tu lus, il lut, elle lut, nous lûmes, vous luttes. Ils lurent, elles lurent. Ok, so one more time. Je lus, tu lus, il lut, elle lut, nous lûmes, vous lûtes, ils lurent, elles lurent. And now, venir, venir is to come. So remember, they were a bit tricky. So we're talking about venir and all the verbs that will be formed with venir. Je vins. Tu vins, il vint, elle vint, nous vînmes. Remember, it's quite tricky to pronounce that. Vînmes. Vous vintes, ils vinrent, elles vinrent. Okay, so one more time. Je vins, tu vins, il vint, elle vint, nous vînmes, vous vintes, ils vinrent, elles vinrent.
and then as I said tenir so exactly the same thing as we had for venir so we're talking about tenir and all the verbs that will be composed based on tenir okay so je tins tu tins il tint elle tint nous tâmes, same thing, same tricky uh, phonetical thing here. Nous tâmes, okay? Vous tinte, il tinte, elle tinte. One more time. Je tins, tu tins, il tint, elle tint. Nous tâmes, vous tinte, il tinte, elle tinte. And this is it for le passé simple. So I will do few videos right after this one and we'll see uh well of course être and avoir and few other important uh verbs at the passé simple form okay i hope it was useful have a great day au revoir et à bientôt Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 17, Leçon M. And we'll see in this lesson le passé simple and more precisely uh, le passé simple du verbe être. Okay, so let's see now. Être, au passé simple, je fus, tu fus, il fut, elle fut, nous fûmes, Vous fûtes, ils furent, elles furent. Okay, so one more time, encore une fois. Je fus, okay, keep in mind that final S is not pronounced. Tu fus, exactly the same thing, final S not pronounced. Il fut, final T not pronounced. Elle fut. Okay, so basically you get only one phonetical form here. And it's fu, 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 the same. Okay, then nous fûmes. Final S not pronounced. Vous fûtes, same thing. Ils furent, elles furent. Keep in mind that E N T, you know, the ending for the plural form is never pronounced, so furent. Ok? Ils furent, elles furent. D'accord? Je fus, tu fus, il fut, elle fut, nous fûmes, vous fûtes, ils furent, elles furent. And that's it. You've got the Passé simple forms of the verb être, and être is to be. Voilà, j'espère que c'était utile. Au revoir et à bientôt. Have a great day. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 17, leçon N. And in this lesson, we'll continue. We've been starting this series of uh, videos uh, covering le passé simple. And they, in this one, we will cover the verb avoir, so to have. Okay, so let's start now. Avoir au passé simple. J'eus, tu eus, il eut, elle eut, nous eûmes, vous eûtes. Ils eurent, elles eurent. Okay, so as you can see, uh, phonetically it's quite a challenge <laughs> because you've got to keep in mind that for each form you will pronounce this combination of vowels e, u. You don't pronounce it like normally we would pronounce it e, okay, but we will pronounce it u all the time. Okay, so ju, final s not pronounced, tu u, final s not pronounced, il u. Final T not pronounced, elle eut. Then, nous eûmes, so you can make this little link between the two. Final S not pronounced, vous eûtes, same thing here, and then the link, vous eûtes. Ils eurent, elles eurent. Okay, remember that when we've got this ENT ending at the end of the plural form, so third person of the plural, you don't pronounce it, so you get ur. Okay, and then with the with the link, the liaison, ils eurent, elles eurent. Okay, so one more time. Ju, tu eus, il eut, elle eut, nous eûmes, vous eûtes, ils eurent, elles eurent. And that's it. You've got all the forms of the passé simple for the verb avoir. 
Have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 17, Leçon O. And in this lesson, we'll continue the long series covering le passé simple and in this case, we'll see le passé simple du verbe faire, so the verb to do. Okay, so let's start there. And so we've got faire and it means to do as I said and this is the passé simple form. So let's start now. Je fis. Tu fis, il fit, elle fit, nous fîmes, vous fîtes, ils firent, elles firent. Ok, so one more time. Je fis, final S not pronounced, tu fis, same thing. Il fit, elle fit, final T not pronounced. Nous fîmes, same thing here, you don't pronounce the S. Vous fîtes, don't pronounce S. Ils firent, elles firent. Remember, ending ENT for the plural, you don't pronounce it. Fir. Ils firent, elles firent. Ok. Je fis, tu fis, il fit, elle fit. Nous fîmes, vous fîtes, ils firent, elles firent. And that's it. You've got all the forms for the passé simple of the verb faire, to do. Have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 17, leçon P and in this lesson we'll see together le verbe aller and more precisely la forme du passé simple and we can start right now. So let's see le verbe aller au passé simple. J'allais, tu allas, il alla, elle alla. Nous allâmes, vous allâtes, ils allèrent, elles allèrent. Ok, so let's see that one more time. J'allais, tu alla, remember, final S is not pronounced. Il alla, elle alla. Ok, so you get the two forms here. You are pronouncing them the same way. You put this S for tu, but you do don't pronounce it. Ok, then nous allâmes. Okay, so remember that you should make this little link between the two. Nous allâmes. Okay. Vous allâtes. Same thing. La liaison. So final S here and final S here is not pronounced. Ils allèrent. Liaison. Elles allèrent. And then this ENT at the end, you know, mark for the plural. Well, clearly you don't pronounce it. So you get allèrent. Okay, so ils allèrent. Elles allèrent. So let's see one more time. J'allais, tu allas, il alla, elle alla, nous allâmes, vous allâtes, ils allèrent, elles allèrent. And that's it. You've got all the forms for le passé simple du verbe aller. Uh, I hope it was useful. Have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt. Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 17, leçon Q. And in this lesson we'll see the verb vivre, vivre is to live and uh, we'll, well, see especially le passé simple, so the forms from the passé simple du verbe vivre. Okay, so we can start right now. So we've got the verb vivre, to live, and then les formes du passé simple. Je vécu. Tu vécu, il vécu, elle vécu, nous vécûmes, vous vécutes, ils vécurent, elles vécurent. Ok, so one more time. Je vécu, final S not pronounced, tu vécu, same thing. Il vécu, elle vécu, final T not pronounced. So basically you've got only one form here and it's vécu for all these three persons. Nous vécûmes, final S not pronounced, vous vécutes, same thing here, ils vécurent, so remember, 
Mark from for the plural, E and T is not pronounced phonetically, you don't get it, so vécure. Okay? Il vécure and then elle vécure. Okay, so one more time. Je vécu, tu vécu, il vécu, elle vécu, nous vécûmes, vous vécutes, ils vécurent, elles vécurent. And that's it. You get all the forms for the verb, le verbe vivre au passé simple. Voilà. Have a great day. Au revoir et à bientôt.